It was the philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche who said, Strictly speaking, there is no such thing as science without any presuppositions. So, what is a presupposition, you may ask? Well, a presupposition is simply presupposing something in advance. In essence, a presupposition signifies something that one takes for granted ahead of time. It's an implicit assumption, or, as I like to say, a smuggled-in belief. Now, some would have you believe that science is all about facts and evidence, all about what's empirically measurable and provable. These same people would want you to think that scientific inquiry is free from smuggled-in assumptions and prior beliefs. Unfortunately, there is no such thing in the realm of human knowledge. Okay, so what are some of the underlying foundational assumptions and presuppositions operating in the scientific enterprise? What are some of the things that are assumed and not proven? What are some of the beliefs that are smuggled in? To begin with, scientists use logical and mathematical principles to understand science, providing a rational foundation for their work, yet these principles go unexplained and unaccounted for. The scientist does not address where logical and mathematical principles originate or how they exist at all. Instead, they simply accept them without any further explanation. What's more, the law of non-contradiction, the uniformity of nature, and the principle of sufficient reason is all assumed before any scientific hypothesis are formulated. The same is true for moral reasoning and ethical principles. Moral reasoning and ethical principles are not explained or accounted for by the scientist. That's right, all their value judgments and notions of fairness, transparency, and the importance of honesty are not things empirically measurable and provable through the scientific method. Should one tell the truth about their scientific research? Are some things good or evil in scientific practice? Is it right? Is it fair? Is it just? Well, such notions influence scientific thinking long before any actual science is done. So I'll end by saying that it needs to be highlighted that all these things, and many more, are presuppositions that are smuggled into science and not explained. In fact, these are all presuppositions that make science possible in the first place. Said another way, the scientific enterprise would not exist without them. I'm Paul Ross, and thanks for listening.